what's your name and where are you from? My name is Erin Cater and I'm from Delaware, Ohio. And what's your major? My major is criminal justice and psychology. How are you a typical college student? Um, I'm a typical college student by I go to class basically every day and I work still and I hang out with my friends a lot and I also drink and have a social life. What sets you apart from a typical college student? Um, I'm a volunteer firefighter. How did you get involved with volunteer firefighting? Um, my mentor actually asked me what I wanted to do with my career and I told him I wasn't really sure but I knew that I wanted to do something with Life Flight, such as being a nurse or a paramedic on Life Flight. And he goes, well, you know, I don't really know a lot about that, but here's a contact and um, contact him and he can take you around to a fire station called Central Joint Fire, which is in Portage. And I did and I fell in love with the fire station. What's it like being a volunteer firefighter and how does it affect your daily life? For example, what's it like when you're in class? Um, being a firefighter has its perks. It also has its downtime, too. Um, it's very, very fulfilling. Sometimes it's sad. Um, sometimes it's amazing saving someone's life, and then there are those losses. Um, it affects my daily life by never knowing when I'm going to get a call, never know knowing when my pager is going to go off. Um, it could be when I'm in class and I disrupt class, but I let all of my professors know beforehand, hey, I'm a volunteer firefighter and I have this pager. Is it okay if I keep it on? And um, then if I feel that it's important for me to be there, I'll leave class and go. What kind of gear do you wear? Um, I wear full turnout gear, which consists of about 70 pounds of equipment, um, from boots to bunker pants to a turnout coat to a hood to a helmet to an air pack and a mask. What kind of equipment do you use when you guys go on your runs? Um, we use everything from our turnout gear to our trucks, hose, water, um, jaws of life, just about everything imaginable that you could think, um, any tools that would be necessary. What kind of training have you been through? Um, well, actually I have my training file right here. We have to go through a lot of training and um, some training isn't necessary, but the necessary training is getting your volunteer firefighting card, which is 36 hours, uh, your EMT first responder, hazmat operations, um, you also have to pass your emergency vehicle driving. Uh, I am certified in grain rescue and farm emergency. Um, I am certified in CPR and first aid, um, basic life support. Um, and that's about the basics. What are some of the runs that you've been on? Um, I've been on numerous different types of runs, such as um, EMS runs, you know, help I fall and I can't get up, to I have a broken leg to very severe full arrest heart attacks. Um, I've also been on numerous motor vehicle accidents, um, semi versus motorcycle, um, any car versus car, car versus deer. I've also been on hazmat spills and um, numerous structure fires, field fires, grass fires, garbage fires, couch fires, stuff like that. Is there anything else that you'd like to talk about? Um, I could tell you a little bit about my experience uh, this past spring break. Um, seven firefighters from Central Joint traveled to Mississippi to help after Hurricane Katrina. We were there for six days, got to see the disaster that Katrina left, not only in New Orleans, but in Mississippi and Louisiana where the eye of the hurricane hit. Um, it was an amazing experience. We had so much help from the community, so much push, so many donations. The probably most amazing experience in my life.